The Florentine Opera is providing some much needed entertainment amid the coronavirus pandemic. And joining us this morning, we have Maggie here. Now, Maggie, let's start with today. I understand you have another outdoor performance. We do. You know, we thought we need a really good fall experience for everyone. So we're riffing on Oktoberfest and we're bringing out the drinking songs. It should be a lot of fun. Now, while your theater remains closed, how do you offer digital options? You know, we wanted to make sure people could get a bit of a sampler platter of everything we're working on right now. So we have a, a digital subscription called Black Tie Optional. And I'm kind of mentally hoping there's someone out there wearing a tux and lying on their sofa. But uh, that said, it includes performances like tonight's drinking songs. It includes um, some of our spotlight performances with leading performers from around the country and the world. Um, it's a little bit of every, everything, including our holiday program. So it should be a lot of fun. And I understand you also have a gala coming up. We do. So our school programs reach 15,000 kids, and that is a lot for a little company like ours, but we are so excited to do it. And frankly, the kids are so excited when we come. And in a year like this, where the school systems are so challenged trying to just get education to work, we really want to offer our school programs to as many kids as we can at a lowest cost as we can. So our gala this year is really focused on bringing those programs to schools, hopefully at no cost, um, so that they can share in the arts and take that moment of refuge and the kids can have that explanation of um, what it means to have music and theater and um, all of the things that make opera present on the stage brought to them. So we're really excited about it. Anyone interested in joining us, it's November 6th and we're doing it virtually, but it's going to be really on demand. Um, there'll be a number of pieces to it, including dinner delivered to your home if you so choose, but it's, it's just a little of everything for everyone on their own schedule. So you have the gala, but say you can't join the gala or say you can't go to it or you can't participate in the classes. Is there, is there another way to uh, you know, help support the Florentine Opera? Well, we've had a, a little bit of fun at the office playing around with our, our pandemic nickname, the Quarantine Opera. So anyone who is interested in opera face masks or our limited edition Quarantine Opera t-shirts, those are available on our website too. And we've been a little tickled to see how popular they've been. So um, thank you to everyone who's participating in that way. It, it's certainly a, a comfort and joy for all of us to think about our shows when we see them on someone's face. <laughs> Maggie, thank you again for joining us this morning.